CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're gonna learn how to make the Beehive Beanie. Um, so this is what this looks like here. They're really pretty. Um, and what I've done is, is I've used a variegated yarn in the background, and then I've brought in another color for the swirls, which I'm gonna show you how to do all of this. But so basically I use the two colors. I use the variegated yarn in the background, and then I use this dark gray for the front. I will try to find all the names for the colors of the yarn that I'm using and put it in the description box below. I would consider this beginner friendly, um, but if you don't know how to crochet at all or if you're totally new to crochet, please look at the link below that I will leave for a beginner crochet video that I've done that will help you um, with learning how to do like a magic circle and a double crochet and things such as that, okay? Now, this can have a fox fur uh, poof at the top or it cannot. I made this for my husband. He did not want one, um, but that's what it looks like with one. So it would look good either way. Um, but yeah, since it is for my husband, I didn't put it on there. And I really try when I'm making stuff for my videos um, to make stuff that is useful that I can use or that um, I can give to people or sell so that I'm not just wasting um, you know, materials for videos. Okay. So while having said that, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you get a chance, watch an ad here or there, because, uh, yarn is not a cheap hobby <laughs> or crocheting is not a cheap hobby because yarn's not cheap. So remember that when anyone gives you a gift, um, they've probably put a quite a bit of money into it. Um, because let's just say someone made you, and I just feel like I need to put this in here because I'm a part of a lot of crochet groups who, um, they often say that they've made an afghan or a blanket for someone or a, a, uh, a stuffed animal, amigurami or a, a beanie set, whatever they've made and the people don't wear them or they give them away to other people. And I think, oh my goodness, that's so sad because really someone has put their, their work into it and it takes a lot of work and it can be very costly because if you buy, if you're making a decent, even like a, um, a lap afghan, um, for instance, I'm making a beach afghan for a friend of mine, and I spent roughly $50 on yarn just to make the throw. Um, so you can only imagine how much it would cost to make a queen or a king or a twin. It just goes up and up and up and up. So yeah, not cheap. So just be thankful when anyone gives you anything. Um, but at any rate, so onto the project. For this, I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. This is for a size large adult, what I'm making today for the video. Um, I will put in a link description box below where I have a video that shows you how to make any size beanie, okay? And if you wanna make a smaller beanie or a larger beanie, you can reference that video and look in the description, look in the comments. I have posted all the ways that you can make your beanie larger or smaller just by changing your hook size. So that will relate to this as well. So, but just remember for this video, I'm doing this for a large adult, okay? So we're gonna move this to the side. And because this was for my husband, um, this is actually extra large because I actually did, he has a, a larger head. Um, and so I did an actual extra row of increase for him. So normally you would, if you're familiar with crochet, for this project, I'm going to go up in increases uh, for three and, and one increase. So I'm going to go all the way up to that. And then I did a four and one increase because this was for my husband's head. And that might make more sense later if you're new to crochet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull out this yarn um, that I got, this variegated yarn from Hobby Lobby. And just go ahead and get going. So what we're going to do for this um, is we're going to start off with a magic circle, okay? And this is going to be a little different. Normally, when you make magic circles, you um, don't do double crochets. You do single crochets. Um, so, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? So, you're going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And then you're going to put 11 double crochets into the middle of this magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so with our first chain of three, we technically have 12 double crochets now. So now I'm gonna pull my magic circle. And now I'm going to be working in the round. And this is what I was talking about makes it kind of odd because normally you're working with single crochets, so it might kind of leave a gap here. But I can show you how to close that if you have that problem. So what I wanna do now is pull out a stitch marker because we are gonna be working in the round. So we need a stitch marker to show us where to go. So right in this last stitch I just made, I'm going to put my stitch marker and then I'm gonna pull tight. I'm just using a piece of yarn. You can use whatever you want to. And now we're gonna be working into this first chain of three right here in the top of our chain of three. We're going to be working in the back loop only and we're going to be putting two double crochets in each stitch in the back loop only. So normally here we would just go in under both stitches and we would do a slip stitch, but we're working in the round. So right here in this top of chain of this chain of three, working through the back loop only, we're going to put two double crochets, one and then two. And then our next stitch working in the back loop only, we're going to put two double crochets. And we're going to do that all the way around in the back loop only we're going to put two double crochets and you should have a count of 24. so just going around back loop only okay and then in your net your last stitch you're going to pull out your stitch marker and still working in the back loop only you're going to put two double crochets and then in that last stitch that you did you're going to put your stitch marker right back just like that okay now as you can see there is a little space here because we went right into doing um, our end the round with double crochets but what you can do is you can take this piece here that held uh, your magic circle and everything together and you can simply sew that together and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit but for right now just don't worry about it there's just a tiny little space there okay but as you can see we're creating by leaving the back, the front post open you can see a little swirl that we're creating okay and that's what you want and that's because we're working in those back loops so now in our next round you're going to go into the back loop and you're going to do one uh, double crochet and the next stitch you're going to in the back loop do two so just know from here on out that you're going to work every stitch in the back loop only okay and the next one double crochet and the next two double crochets so you're going to do that all the way around one double crochet in the back loop and then two double crochets Okay, so just keep doing that all the way around and I'll meet you back up when we get close to the end. Okay, so now we're on our last two stitches and I wanted to show you what this looks like. So I just did two double crochets in the, uh, in the back loop and then I'm gonna go into my next and do one double crochet in the back loop and you should end on two. So we're gonna pull the stitch marker out, work in the back loop only and do two double crochets, one and two. And then you're going to put your stitch marker right back just like that okay and now we're going to do another row of increase now at the end of that row you should have we had 24 yeah. 36 at the end of the row that we just did so now we're going to go into our next available stitch still working in the round working in the back loop only and we're going to put one double crochet then we're going to go into the next stitch in the back loop only and put one double crochet. 
then you're going to go into the next stitch in the back loop only and put two double crochets. So that's your repeat all the way around. So in the next stitch, back loop, one double crochet, next stitch, back loop, one double crochet, and in the next, you're going to put two. And one more time in the back loop, one, in the next back loop, one double crochet, and in the next two, one and two. Okay, so when I get close to the end here, we'll meet back up again. So now we're on our last few stitches, and so we're going to work one double crochet in the back loop, one double crochet in the back loop, and the next, and then in the next, we pull out our stitch marker and then we should end on two double crochets. So we should end on an increase in the back loop only. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to put your stitch marker back. And now we just need one more row of increase. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to continue to work in the round. You're going to go into your next stitch back loop only and you're gonna do one double crochet, and the next stitch, back loop only, one double crochet, next stitch, back loop only, one double crochet, and in the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets in the back loop only, one and two. So that's your repeat all the way around, so let's do that again, back loops only, one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and then the next two double crochets. So just do that all the way around and when you get close to the end, we'll meet back up again. So now we're on our last few stitches here. So I'm gonna work in the back loop, a double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. And then in this last one, I should have two. So I'm gonna pull that out and I'm gonna work two double crochets in the back loop. Okay? And so that is the end of all of our increases, okay? So put your stitch marker back, and now all you're going to do is um, our rows and rows of double crochets in the back loop only to get to the length that you need for your beanie. Now I'm not gonna do all that on camera because um, that would take forever, but I am gonna do at least one row to show you, okay? So what you would do now, still working in the back loop and still working in the round, is you would go into your next stitch working into the back loop only, and you would do a double crochet in each stitch in the back loop, just like this. So just a double crochet all the way around. And like I said, if you want to make this bigger or smaller, I will leave the link for that video below to show you how um, to change with your hook size and amount of rows you do um, from zero months, I mean, you know, from preemie all the way up to an adult and everything in between, okay? So you would just keep doing that. And as you can see, you can see the front posts here. And the reason why is because we're gonna be working into these front posts all the way around to make that raised effect that you see right here. Okay, so I want you to do 11 rows of those double crochets in each stitch around. So you're gonna do that for 11 rows to get the adult size, okay? So 11 rows of that, and then we'll meet back up again. I'm only gonna do one row, okay? Because I'm not gonna do 11 rows on camera, uh, but I'm just gonna do the one row, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna end this for our last two rows, how we're going to keep this effect going round and round and how we're gonna end it appropriately, okay? So I'm gonna finish this one row, you finish your 11 rows, and we'll meet back up together again in okay, just a second. So I finished my one row, you should now have 11. And now what we're going to do is we're just gonna switch up to half double crochets now. So now we're gonna go around in the back loop only doing half double crochets, 
okay? So we're gonna do that all the way around in the back loop, a half double crochet. So just do that all the way around the half double crochets in the back loop. And then when you get to your stitch marker, pull that out to your last half double crochet and then put your stitch marker back. And when I'm all done with this row of half double crochets, we'll meet back our up half again. double crochet round. So we're going to pull out our stitch marker, go into that last stitch, put our half double crochet, and then we're going to put our slip st stitch marker back. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to work single crochets now in the back loop only. And this will be our last round, okay? So in the back loop only, we're just gonna work single crochets all the way around. Just like this. Okay, just single crochets all the way around in the back loop. And when I get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Last few stitches of our single crochet in the back loop round. So we're gonna do our single crochet there, then we're going to pull out our stitch marker and we're going to put a single crochet in this last stitch, back loop only. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch to close, okay? So you're gonna go into your next stitch, but you're gonna go through the back loop only even on this one, okay? And you're going to put a slip stitch in the back loop, just like that. And then you're gonna go into your very next stitch and you're gonna go through both stitches and you're gonna do a slip stitch and that will finally close off the entire project. And then you can cut off. Of course, yours will be much bigger and just pull through just like that, okay? Now what you're going to do is now we're going to be working in these front loops, okay, to make this raised stitch all the way around, all right? So I'm just gonna use a white accent for this one. Remember, you'll have much more rows and um, yours will look way bigger than this, but that's okay because I'm just showing you how to do this. So what you wanna find is right where your little swirl begins. So the swirl begins right here, okay? And it's a little bit hard to see with this variegated yarn, but right there is where it begins, okay? So I'm gonna put my hook right through there and I'm going to bring in my color just like this. And then I'm going to do a chain just like that, okay? Now later we will pull this through the middle and then we can work it in. But for right now, we're gonna start working all around in these front loops. So we pulled in our yarn now we're going to do a slip stitch back into that same spot and then we're going to chain one then we're going to go into our next stitch do a slip stitch and then chain one go into our next front loop here do a slip stitch chain one go into the next stitch slip stitch chain one and the next one, and I'm gonna bring this close so you can see it, to the next stitch, I'm gonna go in, do a slip stitch, chain one, and again, slip stitch and chain one. Now, a lot of people might wonder, well, why can't I just do single crochets all the way around? And that's because without that chain one in the middle, um, it will make your, your beanie tight and it will be too tight for the head because that single crochet is going to draw your stuff in. So you really need that chain one in between to make it loose enough to not affect the actual size of the beanie. You also want to use a slip stitch because the single crochet can actually look pretty bulky. Okay, so again, going around, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one. 
slip stitch, chain one. And as you can see, I'm just going around, working in the little front loops that were left behind because we worked everything in the back loop. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this so that you can see what it looks like. There might be times while you're doing this where it'll start to look a little bit wonky. Don't worry, it'll fix itself and it will look lovely when it's on, especially when it's on the head. Um, but yeah, it, um, it might get a little bit wonky as you go down, but don't worry, it'll fix itself. So again, just doing a slip stitch and a chain one. And if you like the way it looks without this, you can certainly leave it um, without these front, uh, the slip stitch chain one. If you just like the back loop only look, uh, that also shows the swirl as well without it. But this just enhances it, okay? So that's basically what you're doing. You're just gonna do that all the way around. Even down here where we did the single crochets, you're gonna work in those and you're just gonna keep on going and going and going until you get to the very end. And when you get to the very end here, where you work this last, uh, you would do your slip stitch, change one, slip stitch. And then after you do that last slip stitch right there, you will slip stitch into this stitch right here and then you will cut off just like we did before, okay? So it's just very easy. So now what I'm gonna show you to do is how you would um, work this in at the end, okay? So um, if you do not know how to sew in your ends, like I said, if you're very new to crochet, check out that video below and it'll show you how to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my hook and I'm gonna go right up in the middle of this magic circle right here with my hook and I'm going to bring in this piece right here where we started off with, okay? And then I'm gonna pull that through and then I can work that on the inside. Now, if you're still having trouble with this little hole that we started with right here, okay? What you would do is what, what I would do is I would tie these together just like this once and twice. I would work in my white yarn only in the white spaces that I see here. That's why it's good to use a color that's already within the variegated yarn because you don't want this white yarn to poke out everywhere. Okay, so now for the place where we had that little hole, all you would do is you would put this onto a darning needle and you would simply just sew back and forth to close that up, very easy. And then you would work this piece in as well and you would have both pieces worked in, in the very middle of your hat where you couldn't even see it. And then at the very end, you would take these pieces, you're gonna end up with two, you're gonna have this one, and then you're gonna have the white tail or whatever corresponding color you use. You would just go back through with your darning needle and work it in on the inside going back and forth, okay? So that's how you would finish this and that's how you would do this project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can find me below on Facebook, um, Instagram. You can Gmail me and you can comment right here on YouTube. And like I said, you can find all that in the description and you can find all the materials that we used here today. But hope everyone's doing good and staying healthy, wearing your mask. Um, staying sane during these turbulent times 
and um, I'll see you again soon with a good video. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.